Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Guys, it's Monday morning. I hope you had a great weekend. I did. Um, I really hope you enjoyed last night's video. Um, it was just a random sort of... I, I filmed that on a Saturday afternoon. Sorry, Saturday morning. Um, whilst I was waiting for the key guy to turn up. Um, and yeah, I just thought, do you know what? It'll just be a, a, a nice uh, nice little... Not comp... Like comp just a game, like just a bit, just a bit of fun, and I thought, you know what? Let's get you involved. Yeah, let's let's see who can guess the mileage. I just thought I, I'm always trying to sort of make it enjoyable. Uh, you can't be too serious doing this. You've got to have a bit of fun um, where you can, um, and I'm always trying to sort of get you involved as much as I can. And if I ever, if that ever happens again, I'm definitely going to do it again for you guys. Uh, but yeah, it was just yeah, so many comments, like literally just hundreds and hundreds of comments were coming in, uh, all different types of um, mileages, and not just like not just like fixed ones, which I mean, I mean like not just ones that said like fifty five thousand five hundred. There was like fifty five thousand three hundred and thirty five. <laughs> it was really random numbers, which is great because it you never know whether or not because because you know I, I still don't know the mileage. Like, I've come in this morning, and I still haven't, I don't know, the, the keys are over there. I haven't, the keys are here. I haven't opened the car. I don't know if it runs. I don't know what's in there. So I have opened the car. I don't know if it runs. I don't know uh, anything about the engine sort of side of it. I don't know the mileage. Um, yeah, I, I have, I, I do, I have opened the car, because bef whilst I was waiting for the key guy to turn up, I thought... Do you know what? I, can I, I wonder if I can get into the car to have a look. So I cut a square, which was this. I cut this <laughs> out of the door, on the driver's door, and uh, pulled my fingers through, unlatched it, and opened the door. But it still won't come up with the mileage. Um, so, yeah, we're going uh, we're gonna to get outside in a minute, and we're going to find out which one of you has won that mug and key ring set that I'm going to send to you. Um, yeah, if, if, if one or two of you or three of you were close at the, the, the same mileage, then I'll send that two or three. That's not a problem. It's, I'm not just going to send one out. Whoever was the closest, really, and if there's a few of you at the same mileage, you'd, all, you'd, you'd, you'd get one as well. So, yeah, but um, I'm, in, I'm, I'm excited to find out what it is as well. Um, so let's, uh, let's do this. So guys, here we go. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so what happened was on Saturday, I was waiting for him in the morning, and I had to go off, shoot off in the afternoon. I had to I had to go at a certain time, and I couldn't hang around. So basically, what I did was, um, I, I, yeah, I, I thought, how can I get into the car just to have a look at it? Um, so this is what I did. So yeah. Um, I'm changing the door. I'm not going to repair it. I know a lot of you were saying, "Oh, you can repair that." Um, don't, don't, don't sort of do anything. Nah, I'm just going to change it, guys. To be honest with you, um, I'm just going to repair the quarter, um, back quarter, and, and, and replace all that. Really. So I thought, well, I'm replacing it. Let's cut it out and um, I managed to get through um, and unlatch it and, and open the handle. So yeah, there we go. So. That's basically what I did whilst I was waiting for him. Um, yeah, so I was, I was just a bit eager. <laughs> but I wanted to get into the car. So, yeah. And then when he turned up, the door was open and away you go. So he's done me some keys, done me two keys. Um, and he, he charged me £250 um, for doing two keys, which weren't too bad. I thought it was, it was all right. So let's see... Yep, they working. Okay. Nope. Is that one? That's the one. So yeah, <clears throat> we will see. I can see the mileage right now. Actually, it just come up. I can see it. <laughs> not as much as I thought so yeah um, I have had a look around the car because do you know what it was when, the reason why I've done that door as well was because I thought 
you never know. Like, if I get into the car, um, the key, a key might be in the car. I just thought, you know, it, it might be in the car. And then that way, I ain't got to sort of pay for any keys to be cut or anything like that. But it turned out that there is no keys in here. There's absolutely nothing. Nothing in the gearbox, uh, nothing in the glove box. Nothing. Gotta fix that, it's a bit loose. Um, no, there's no underneath seat thing, there's nothing on this one. Completely empty, but it, in the back, it's a really clean car, to be honest with you. It's not that bad. It does need a little clean. It does need my normal um, upholstery cleaning on the seats. Just, you know, dog air all over this seat here. So it does need a few bits and pieces. It should just come straight off. It's just wiping off that air, so that's pretty good. But it's completely empty, the car. Just a few tools in the back. No spare wheel. It's all right. <clears throat> but it's cleanish. It's all right. This is going to be a quick one. I can't see in this, this dragging out for too long, to be honest with you. Is that, is that the parcel shelf? Oh, yeah. Goes like that. That's it. So, yeah. There we go. But it's all right. It's a clean car. Oh God! Right. So let's uh, let's see if she runs and drives or runs and starts. First of all, let's get the key. I'm not going to show you the mileage yet. Don't worry. I want to see if she runs and starts first. Got some fuel. Yeah. That sounds lovely. Well, look how clean that is. That is a nice, clean engine bay. Wow, got super lucky again, guys, with the non-runner, no keys. But that's what I'm saying. You take, you take the risk and take the gamble. Sometimes it pays off. Don't get me wrong. I know everyone's look, look, watching this going, you know, one day you're going to come unstuck. <laughs> one day you are going to get a car that's completely seized and you've got to change the engine and you've got to do a load of work. You are absolutely right. <laughs> no one's this lucky, to be honest with you. There's always going to be... Um, yeah, there's, there's going to be a time where I'm going to come unstuck. I know it, but for now, wow. What a lovely little runner. So all we've got to do is just do the repair. So I'm going to change the door. Um, door £100, get that changed. We're going to repair the quarter, get that sprayed in and uh, paint that back in place. Probably take the, the headlight out this time and tape it all up um, and then paint it. I don't know really, just paint it up to there again or something, I don't know. I'll have to do, watch some more videos on YouTube. Um, we do need a tire. I've tried to pump it up, but it won't pump up. So we will need a tire for that. Um, probably just get a part worn, which has got a lot of tread, 30 quid. So thirty pounds for the tire. Um, <clears throat> now, let's. Should we have a look at? Uh, actually, first of all, let's see if we've got a CD. Let's see. Turn that down. CD. Eject. Yes, we got a CD. Let's have a look. Uh. Paramore. Hmm. Paramore. 
have to listen to that one. I don't know that one, guys. Don't know that one. Anyway, let's get into the let's get into the thing that we've all been waiting for. The mileage. Let's see what the mileage is and who is the winner or who's the winners of the um, mug and keyring set. So yeah, let's have a look, guys. Forty-seven seven hundred and eight miles. Wow. That is low mileage. That is low mileage for that car for this car. And a bit of fuel as well. So that's good. <laughs> 47 708 miles so i'm going to go through the um <clears throat> comments in a minute and i'm going to find out who exactly was the closest uh to that mileage but uh yeah incredible i was just uh, earlier i was just looking at this as well to see whether or not how, how, how close it was there's not a lot of there's not hardly anything to this it's just all there. So I think that's just gonna pop, 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 hopefully. I'm thinking about going from the other side and seeing if there's a maybe a speaker. Because if there's a speaker on that side, then it should get, give us a bit more access to... Oh, there is a, a speaker there. So that speaker should be sort of, you know, quite, quite large. And I think it goes through to the outer skin. So if we get this back panel off here, we can get that speaker off and then we can push it from this side. The speaker's about there. Do you know what? That's gonna line up exactly the same. There, lines through. Exactly the same as where this is. So a lot of that, hopefully, we can get to the other side. Why don't we do that today? Get this bench seat out, get the back seats out, Strip, strip it, start stripping it down, and then we can start pushing it out and see what happens. Change the door. Wow, oh, guys, this one, <clears throat> this one is going to be a good one. See, this is what I'm saying. You take, you, 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 if you're willing to take a gamble, you, you, this it can pay off. She's running sweet. Really smooth. Yeah, really smooth. I love it. I love it. Uh, probably going to do a service. Oil change, oil filter. Um, check, the, check the air filter. See if that needs changing. Because we've got no record whatsoever. Apart from, we've got a thing up here which is servicing. Um, so it has had something, but we don't know. Oh, actually quite recent, actually. Oh, is that MOT? Oh, that's MOT, I think. Yeah, that's MOT. Not a service, unfortunately, which is a shame. Oh, well. So, yeah, we don't know. We've got no service history. We don't know how it's been looked after. But looking at the, how clean the engine bay is and... Let me check the oil. Wow, super clean oil, look at that. Yeah, that is clean. Nice. That's a good sign. That is a good sign that it's been looked after. So, still going to do my normal oil changes though, guys. Still going to sort of oil filter air filter oil change and that sort of side of it but so far this car is turning out to be a lovely little car for someone um and it's gonna be a quick one it's not gonna take long at all now really let's be honest you know it's getting this paint right that's that's that is my only sort of next concern is to get that blended and painted right i've got to try it and i i've really got to try it to be honest with you, it's going to take some time. 
it's going to take some time. I want to make sure that it's it's, it's completely, um, you know, completely right. So yeah, there we go. But at least we've got a running, driving car um, with really low mileage. Forty-seven. Forty-seven, seven hundred and eight. I wonder if I wonder if someone gets that actual mileage. I'm going to go through the comments and have a look to see who guessed that that the closest to it. Um, if anything, someone's probably guessed um, forty-seven, seven hundred, something like that, or forty-seven or uh, 48,000. Do you know what I mean? Someone's gonna be quite close to this. So, um, really low mileage car, really low mileage. So there we go. Wow. Right, let me um, move the, um, I've got the Peugeot, I've got the Fiat 500 in at the minute. Let me go and move that out of the way. Let's get this inside and let's start. Let's make a start on it. Let's, let's make a start, so let's do this. Right guys, so there you go, she's inside. Um, gonna leave it there and we're gonna work on getting this um, tapped from the other side if we can. I might just take this driver's seat out of the way. Might be a little bit easier. We'll take the bench seat out. Uh, we'll get all that off to get this panel off here. Get behind there and I think we can get behind the speaker and we can sort of do the best we can from the other side. It's worth a go if we can get anything out of it. And then anything else, I'm gonna probably use my um, my uh, dent puller. Do you know me, um, my welding dent puller? I'll take it back to the bare metal and then we'll sort of weld on some pieces and, and, and tap it back. But it shouldn't be that bad, really. It shouldn't really be that bad. The, the majority of the hit is here, right there. This all seems like okay there and here. That, that's all, it should, it should all be like this and then it's pushed in here. So that's got to come out and follow this line. So yeah, let's, um, you know, we'll crack on with that in a minute. That's got to be looked at as well, that little repair there to the arch. Might, have get, might be able to get it behind the arch liner. Take the wheel off and then we'll get behind there in a minute. Should I put it on the ramp? I might put it on the actual, I might put it over here. Yeah. Yeah, it might be easier. It might be easier just to put it over there and then that way I can lift it up and down if I need to with, with the wheels and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, we'll go from there. But for now, we're gonna go and check out. So guys, here we go. I've got her in. Um, I've put her over here so we can lift her up, take all the wheels off, have a look at all those kind of things as well. I'm thinking take off the inner liner wheel arch here. We might be able to get from behind there a little bit because I'm trying to sort out this little this little crease here. This little curve, it goes around here and you can see that it's sort of a little bit messed up a little bit there. So I want to try and get behind there if we can. Little tap might help, you never know. Um, and then we're going to get inside and then we're going to start the inside strip down. Take the seat out, uh, the front driver's seat. Let's get that off. Let's get that out. Bench, start getting the plastics off, really sort of start stripping it all down. I want to try and push as much as I can from the other side. Um, and then I'm going to probably get the welder, you know, my, my weld pulling machine, and weld on some bits and pieces wherever it needs to, to be welded, really. Um, it definitely got to go back to bare metal. That's all got to be sanded back. It's all scratched really bad. So yeah, but it's it's mainly here is where the, obviously the damage is. You can see it obviously there. And there's nothing over this side, luckily enough. There's nothing over that by the tank um, filler cap. There's nothing over there. So that's all good. It's just it's just that that from that point here onwards really. So just confined. But I just think it'd be a better from coming from the other side really, just to see if we can get any better. So yeah, we'll um, we'll get on that in a second. I'll set you up and we'll get cracking. Um, but for the minute, let's go and have a look to see who has won this mug and keyring set giveaway prize that I've um, that I've said that I'm going to send to someone. Whoever 
gets the mileage um, the closest. And I've had a look and there is a lot of comments. There's like 235 comments on last night's video uh, about this. And everyone was sort of, you know, just sort of putting down, you know, what mileage they reckon it was. And there was a lot of there was a lot of people saying that the forty seven thousand um, area of of mileage, but there was one person that was the closest, and that person actually was fifty three miles um, out on his prediction. <laughs> so let me show you who that one what that one was. Um, where's my mouse? There she is. Right. So yeah, as we come down here. Let me see if I can find it. Where are ya? Okay. There we go. I don't want to pronounce your name wrong. Sorry. Um, is it Declan? Caffery? Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But, yeah, Declan, uh, you are the winner. Because your guess was 47,761. And it is actually 47,708. So you were actually the winner of this. And I'll, send, I'll be sending you, get in contact with me. Hopefully you're watching this video. Get in contact. I will send you um, the mug and key ring set. And um, yeah, it should, uh, <laughs> it should get to you pretty quick. So message me. Um, if you go up to the home page at the top here, you can go to my channel and you can email me um, at at my email address. Where it, get, get, let's get this, get this, get there. Here we go. You go to about and then you can email me there. Message me your details and I'll send this out to you. Uh, down at the bottom here, Instagram, Facebook. However, you want to message me, um, so yeah, Declan, if you want to message me, buddy, um, and I'll get in contact with me and give us your address and I will post it out to you. Uh, email address is here. Uh, you can also contact me on um, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook. And yeah, uh, you are the winner of the of the, um, the, the mug set uh, and key ring, so that's good. Right, for now, let's carry on um, and... Let's um, let's take apart this. Let's take apart this inside interior um, and see if we can start pushing this out. Um, I'm going to go and get the door a bit later as well, so that's all right. But this should be really quick. This one, you know, we, it runs and drives. We've got to do an oil change and, and service. I've got to check, check the brake pads and discs and tyres. Check all the car um, all over. But this should be a really really quick one. Um, and that's the one other reasons why I went for this one as well was because it went so cheap and, um, you know, and it's because of it, it you know, it's a non-runner, no keys. And I did have a message and, uh, someone messaged me and said they can't work out, um, if it was, if it had no keys, it didn't run and drive, it had no keys, how did I get it delivered? Well, how I get these cars delivered if they're locked up don't run, don't drive, is I go and collect it with a trailer. Um, they, they forklift it onto, the, onto my trailer. I bring it back over to, to the lockup. And then when I get to the lockup, the guy um, that owns the, 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 this area has a forklift as well with extens long extensions. Um, and he basically just done exactly the same thing. He lifted the car up. I moved the trailer. He dropped it down. Job done. That is how we take them off um, the the trailers uh it's just uh, yeah it's just just because you ain't got the keys and you can't open the door so that's how we do it and i've got that i'm luckily enough to have the facilities of person over it has got that and we can do that um <clears throat> and yeah it works out well <laughs> but that's why a lot of people don't bid on the cars because how they're going to get it off the other end you know this is what this is why they go a little bit cheaper because mo it puts off a lot of people um, from getting the cars off the transporter, off the the, the trailer, whatever. They they it, it, they struggle, but yeah, I don't. So there we go. Right, guys, 
that's enough waffling. Let's set you up. Let's crack on um, and let's see if we can get this pushed out any more than what we can. I'll start stripping off the inside. Once I've done that, um, I'll cut back in and we'll have a quick chat about that. But for now, let me set you up on the tripod and let's do this. Okay guys, so, well that didn't take long at all really, and you can see the like the actual compartment in there, um, there wasn't actually a speaker in there, like it does look like there's a, you can see there's a speaker thing there, but I think this is because it's like a base model, there's no speakers in the rear, which helps me really, because there's no, um, yeah there's no need to remove it, so that's a little bit of time saved there, but you can see that like, the actual panel there, um, I'm trying to see if I can show you inside there. Can you see that like, little crease there? Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to get the camera in there as well. There's like a little crease there. And you can really get in there to sort of push it out and stuff like that. So, yeah, what a result. Um, I should be able to get most of that out. There, there's a crease here as well. Um, it just this bloody torch can think somewhere on them. There, that's it. So you can see that there's some, there's some creases down there and there's some crease here. So yeah, we can just push it from outside. Sorry guys, I had to cut off there. My phone started ringing. Um, but like I was saying, like you can see like the creases down here. There, can you see them? There's there, 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 there. There's one here. So all we've got to do is drop my torch i mean push out <laughs> push out the creases basically and just do the best we can i might get a heat gun in there as well heat up the back of the panel um and then it might help us a lot more um to get it to get it to move but yeah you can see you know it's gonna it's not gonna take much really for to push that out i'm just pushing i'll just push it with my hand and it's already moving So yeah, I'm gonna get to work on it, I suppose, um, and start sort of pushing out where I can. So I'll set you up probably over here somewhere, and then you can see it coming out. Um, that'd be good. So yeah, let's set you up, guys, and let's do this.
Right guys, we are definitely moving along now. Um, yeah, as you just saw there, I've took, I've, I've banged it from the other side as much as I can, um, and then played around with it to get it, um, to get it out the best I can. And it, to be fair, it is come out quite a bit um, compared to what it was. It's not that bad. There's a few, um, there's a few creases and dents. So you see, there's one here. Um, but I'm going to play around with that with a little bit of filler because I don't want to. I don't want it into. I can't sort of go from the other side. There's like a the, where the seatbelt comes down. There's a compartment. I can't get round to the back that far, which is a shame. But um, yeah, I managed to push out a lot of this, push out all this. There's a bit there, obviously, because that's where the hip was. You can see. Um, so I want to fill all that in there, make that flat. But yeah, it's definitely. It's definitely looking better already, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah. You can see where I put the tape around um, this area here. So, this is basically be my, uh, my, uh, my primer uh, square, basically. I think that's going to be all right. I might bring that, that one over a little bit more. Mind you, I've got that there. So, I'll probably just leave it as it is. So yeah, this will be my primer square. This 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 area will all be primer once I've done the um, filler and the rubbing down of the filler and got it as flat to where I want it. So yeah, and then I'll just once I've taken once I've done the, the primer in this square, take the tape off and then I'll increase the paint of the base coat um, even further. Probably take it right up to the bumper here, and then we'll paint the whole thing. Take it right up. Um, up into that area there so but yeah filler primer rub down base coat i'll make it sound so easy isn't it? it's not that easy it's not it takes a long it takes a, a bit of time <laughs> to get it done and i'm definitely not gonna be able to get it done in this video but we're going to continue uh, as we are the inside basically can be put back together now really if you think about it i've gone as far as i can with it and I've taken out the rear light as well because obviously I want to make sure that we, we hit it around here. Don't hit the rear light, so just take it off, save, taping it up and stuff. But yeah, there's no reason why we can't put that back together. So what I might do um, is I might get the filler done, get it all laid down so that can be drying and going off or whatever. And then we can get on with the inside, put that back together. And then later on today, after I've done this video... <laughs> I'm going to shoot to the paint shop. I'm going to grab some paint uh, in the right colour. Take, uh, I'll take the cut out actually of the door. The other door that I cut out this square. I think I've said that, haven't I? So I'll take this with me um, and then they can match the paint to it. So, yeah, <laughs> it ain't taking that long, really. We'll swap the door over. Can I get the door today? If I can get the paint today, the door to that uh, later on this afternoon as well, and get all these bits and pieces ready for tomorrow, 
then hopefully tomorrow we can start painting this back quarter because the filler would have been rubbed down. I might have to go over the filler again in the morning just in case it got low spots or high spots or whatever. So we might have to play around with that a little bit. Um, what's the time there? It's got to be about 12, isn't it? Let me, um, let me get on some filler so that can be drying and then we might be able to hit it before we go. I don't know, but 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 yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a quick one, isn't it? <laughs> it's, uh, this is just the, the, the first day I'm working on it. I'm gonna take up um, I'm gonna take it up on the ramp, take the wheels off. Um, I'm gonna look at those brake discs pads as well on the front and, and rear. Make sure it's, they're all working fine. Uh, do my normal checks. Do my normal stuff. Um, but yeah. How cool would it be if I can get this done by the end of the week? So, yeah, three or four days work, done, finished. We can move to the next one, car five. So, but yeah, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm seriously, seriously lucky when it comes to this car starting. Um, my luck will run out one day. I know it will. But for now, we have to keep going with it um, and... Uh, yeah, just keep keep doing what I'm doing, basically. So let me set you up. Let's get on with the, with the filler. We'll get that done. And then um, we can then crack on with the inside, get that back together whilst that's drying. So let's keep going. Let's do this. Right guys, we've got a little bit of background noise. Um, there's a guy outside sort of can go in uh, the safes at, uh, at the front of my next door. Um, you know, you know, old Mad Max that was over here with the grinder. It's him there. Now he's got a can go, thinks he's uh, <laughs> taking things apart or whatever. But anyway, so a little bit of background noise, but bear with me. Um, so yeah, you can see uh, the the difference, um, just a little bit of time, a little bit of work, a little bit of working out. I wanted to pull out as much as I could and 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 and, and f not use filler as at least as possible. And that's, I kind of think that's what I've done now. Um, you know, I've got to leave it. It's been about sort of, only sort of been about 15 minutes. It's already seems to are going really hard. So that's good. Um, we might be able to rub it down by the end, you know, of this video, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely, definitely getting there now, definitely. Uh, I want to try and see if I can take off this fuel cap and take that with me to the paint shop because I think, because it's in the same sort of area, it's going to be the same sort of paint. I don't know, but I have rubbed this back a little bit, to be honest with you, so it does look a little bit different because I've sanded it. So that's why that, that is a little bit different. I've, I've rubbed the lacquer off of this panel so yeah i think that's what's putting me off a little bit i think if i go down yeah it looks the same so i think i will take that panel with me I don't know. <laughs> to the paint shop but for now we can leave that like that the filler can start going off and we can continue putting the inside back together because we're done with that we don't need to go in there anymore and it can all be put back together so i'll set you up let's go for that Let's carry on. I've got a little bit more time before I have to shoot off. Um, so for now, let's just get all this back together 
um, and looking, yeah, the interior looking <laughs> normal. So I'll set you up. Let's do this. Right guys, so we are all back together, as you can see, and as you saw. Uh, I've still got to do a couple of bits to uh, a few bolts, need some torque settings uh, for the seat, uh, for the uh, belts, that one and that one, bottom, and these, nah, these I think these are all right actually, these just just a bench seat, I don't think they're too, they're tight, but... I don't know if they need any talk settings, but I will find out. Um, so yeah, apart from that, getting some talk settings, we are all back together. It's a bit dark in there, sorry. But I'll leave the light out, because obviously we need that to do this back quarter painting. But yeah. That didn't take long. That didn't take long at all. I think, I'm hoping, tomorrow, because I'm going to continue with this car, because I'll be honest, I haven't got anything else to get on with at the minute. No other projects, they're all been done. <laughs> the, so, apart from the Fiat 500, we've got a flat and polished bonnet and a few bits and pieces to that. Might include that tomorrow. But, yeah, I'm, I don't know what it is. I just, there's something about this car that I just really want to continue and, and just, just push along, because I just want to see what I can get next. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've got this on the fourth car. 2014 Ford KA, it's not anything like particularly like, you know, BMW, Mercedes, Audi, stuff like that. But it is, we are moving up into the, into the newer and the nicer cars and the low mileage cars, guys. This is only done 47, 700. Incredible. Um, so, yeah, I just want to carry on with it, really, because I've got nothing else to do at the minute. So I am looking tomorrow. Don't get me wrong. I am always looking to, to to get some cars but like this one um you have to pick the right ones you can't just go and get any old car i've i've learned um i've learned not to to rush not to, to just you know take your time uh, do your research do your diligence and look into the cars that you're looking at sometimes i find a car and i think yeah that's really good that shouldn't take long i look at the mot history and it's got a terrible mo hist history so Nope, not for me. I'll leave it alone. So, yeah, it's things like that. But I'll always find um, the right cars. I'm just, I don't know if I'm just so lucky or... I'm a, I actually know what I'm doing now. <laughs> so, but yeah, um, we're going to crack on with this one tomorrow. I'm going to go and get the paint in a bit whilst, after this, we finish with this video. And um, pick up the door, pick up the paint. Um, and then just carry on, you know what I mean? Just keep going with this car. Yeah, it's incredible. So, yeah, 
Um, I think that's going to be the end of today's video, guys. Um, don't forget um, the winner. Um, was it Declan? I think. Can't remember now. <laughs> it's been, that was this morning. I've been doing stuff by then. But um, but yeah, um, I'll, I'll don't forget to message me and I'll uh, get that out to you. But for now, guys, it's really noisy in the background, as you can hear still. Um, <laughs> but for now, that's going to be the end of today's video. Hopefully, you've enjoyed me started working on this. I have already, to be honest with you. Um, and it's nice and solid. Ready um, for a, a nice a rub down. We'll do that tomorrow morning. First thing, we'll get it rubbed down. We'll see if it needs any more. And then we're going to hit it with the um, primer. I'm actually going to use my smaller gun uh, on the primer because I don't need a lot of primer and it should sort of be able to sort of do the whole lot um, with my smaller gun. I'll show you it tomorrow. But for now, that's it, guys. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.